Hi guys, quick video. So first of all, thank you for everybody that turned up on Sunday. A little bit different to the last time we all came together. Uh, had some amazing performances. The, the young boy, Alex, I posted a video of him. Most Well, you all seen if you were there. Great performance. Thought, thought it'd be a great touch just because that's who we're fighting for. That's that's It's their future. And again, this ain't about anti-vax, pro-vax or anything like that. It's about democracy, freedom, which essentially is their future. Their future to not be dictated to. And let's be honest, it's becoming very apparent that with all the data that's coming out and more and more whistleblowers coming out and what will come out over the next few weeks is the truth about these companies like Pfizer. It's already spreading like wildfire. All the law suitcases, billions and billions of dollars paid out in uh, vaccine damages and so on and so forth. Everything is going to be exposed. And then, then if people still choose to take the vaccine, so be it. It's their freedom to do so. And we also stand there fighting for people's choice to choose. I don't need to beat the drum anymore about this message. We're all on board for those that are on board. This is about democracy, freedom. It's about ensuring that our government does not sell us out more than what it already has done to try and strip away our freedoms so that we are forced to take the vaccine through coercion, through blackmail, through you will not get your normal. You will not have the same rights as anybody else unless you have the vaccine passport. That's one of the things that we're fighting against amongst many other things. Um, so it was great Sunday, great energy. I don't know how many turned up, thousands again. Um, I was a little bit, there was a concern. First weekend opening of um, shops being open and stuff. So I know a lot of people will have chose to go Christmas shopping and such like instead. Um, and a lot of people were sharing concerns because of what took place in London with the heavy handedness of the police down there. And again, um, like last time, we weren't harassed by the police. In fact, they were very accommodating, um, communicating with me throughout. That was on the, 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 the 8th of November and on this Sunday just gone. Left completely alone, left to it because we were peaceful. We weren't causing any harm. And, and like I said before that Sunday, um, the police I was speaking to, and quite rightly so, she said, we're Manchester, we do things different. And we do, we do, we do do things different. London's a different energy to Manchester. And, and again, and I actually um, went out in one of my closing addresses um, to everybody because it's right to do so. We're no better than anybody else if we start spitting and spouting hate at those that haven't caused us any issues. We're no better than anybody else. Um, and... They were cooperative, they were sound, communicating with me throughout, and they had one idiot, and I'll tell you a funny story in a minute, <laughs> one idiot started to scream when I said, fair play to the police that have left us alone, and so thanks for their support, and they stuck to the words, said that, which I still stand by that now, um, because they were, they were very cooperative, and they were fine and supportive, great, and um, one idiot screaming, whatever you know fuck the police and da, da, da. and it was great because everyone was like nah nah and just started shouting who are you you are and he took off good good because there's no need for that there was absolutely on that day the unity everybody coming together to share a message stand for truth democracy freedom and all those things in love peacefully powerfully and you get one dickhead who tries to disrupt it, try and make it hateful. And we got rid of him. Good. Power to the people. So there you go. So that was nice. So what I'll tell you, so the same guy, I only clocked it was the same guy because I couldn't really recognise him. He was a bit further back. So when we'd finished um, and I was going to my car, luckily I had company because <laughs> a witness, to bear witness to this fucking craziness. 
So I'm walking along and this guy comes running up behind me. You're an actor, you're an actor. And I looked around and I looked beyond me and I was like, look at how he's, he's speaking to me. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not even joking, he was foaming at the mouth. <laughs> like, you know, those starey eyes where they're crazy, like fucking nuts. Um, you're an actor, you're, you're, you're not even a personal trainer, you weren't in the military and all this. I'm like, fucking hell, <laughs> this guy's just clearly not done his research. Your controlled opposition. So I was laughing, obviously, and I was like, and he kept sort of walking to me, I was like, come here, come here, do you want to ask me some questions? He had his phone out, he's filming me. Um, and I was like, oh, ask me any question you want. Yeah, he just kept ranting and raving at me. And I went, right. If you don't want a conversation Just, you know, fuck off Started walking, he kept following me So, it, every time I turned around He'd stop uh, I was like, what do you want? Yeah, cause I went, stop shouting your fucking Mad ramblings at me Do you want to ask me some questions? I mean, yeah, talk to me You're a, you're, you're a control of it He kept going on and on and on It was fucking doing me head in So I started walking, and following me again so I turned around and sort of like started speeding up, charging and went, right, come here, come here. And he started running backwards, still screaming at me. <laughs> this was childish. This will, if I end up becoming mayor of Manchester, this might come um, come to haunt me, but <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I started doing that. Don't know what you're talking about, mate. Don't know what you're talking about. And I was doing, <laughs> my jacket was open. I was like, mate, just come in. This is the um, Freemason hand thing, by the way, that I'm doing now. <laughs> So I started doing loads of symbolism. Just you know, he's like his eyes. Go, ah, I knew it. And I was like, and I just said, if you follow me again, I'm gonna come and put the fist through your face. And he went. Um, so that was funny. Um, thought I'd share that. I like to share everything we use on this journey. Uh, and like I say, even when this becomes a political movement, I, I think it's important people become. Educated on the pro, I'm not educated on the processes. It's going to be new grounds for me when we start moving into politics and gun gun for Andy Burnham's um, position. Whether we get it or not, obviously I'm in it to win it. But we'll get a seat at the table. Media will have to cover us if we're serious, which we will. We'll have to be taken seriously. I'll get airtime, I'll be on these BBC um, broadcasts and on these uh, um, panels where they have speakers of certain parties there to be repre um, representing their particular political party. So, and I'll be sharing everything, everything what goes on behind the scenes, all the paperwork and that, just so people become informed because then it might actually spur them on to become a challenge for mayor of their town or local MP for their town, which I really hope it does and I believe it will. Um, so, and I'll keep us all up to date on that. So, nothing's been planned as yet for anything else, but um, there's a North Unite, I always get the name wrong and call it Stand Up Manchester, North Unite, and what I believe is it's all of the um, movements of the North are gonna be meeting at Piccadilly Gardens Saturday, this Saturday at 1pm. Um, I'm working right up until almost one o'clock, so I'll be rushing to get there. Um, if you can, please show your support. I'll be turning up to that one um, as well to show my support. They're all our movements. They're all our movements. I might not be organising this, but it's as much my movement as it is yours and everybody else's because it's movements for democracy. Um, so please... For everyone, if you turned up on the Sunday to the one I organise with my guys, uh, and you can make this one turn up, let's not be precious about any movement. They're all, they're all wanting the same end goal: democracy, freedom, right to choose. Um, so I'll be there on Saturday. Hope to see many of you there. Also, we need to keep the momentum going, and I'm excited for 2021. I'm very excited for it because this is falling to pieces. Governments falling to pieces, and I said it in the last video. I want Matt Hancock to keep getting airtime because what the fuck was that video about? Cringe, cringe, cringe. Crocodile tears. It's an insult to crocodiles. Don't know what they were. Demonic tears. The guy doesn't know how to express empathy. It was the worst case of acting and empty words I've ever seen in my life. And I hope he keeps getting airtime because he's a little rat.